How's that mic look? Do you think they can see it? I don't think so. And welcome back. Okay, I'm, today I'm gonna demystify some of the world's craziest magic tricks by using science. This here, check this out. Fun science of magic. Fun with the science of magic. Uh, this is a magic kit themed around science for children. Uh, but I am a grown child, so I thought I'd toy with it too. Because there are some interesting principles in this science magic kit. So they not only show you how to do them, but they explain the science behind it. And I thought it'd be really cool. If you guys want to check out this kit, I left the link below. Uh, this isn't a sponsored post or anything. I just thought this was really dope. Maybe we can help him out and sell some, some of his copies for him. I don't know, but that's not why we're here. We're here. Why are we here? Okay. So there are a few principles we're going to be going over, but before we get into that, I just want to say, I'm going on a magic tour. What do you get when you mix four best friends who are also magicians? You get the Big Trick Energy Live Tour. No way! My name is Chris Ramsey, and these are my best friends. We are four magicians who love using our skills to mess with people. Now. <laughs> Especially each other. We're coming out of the TV and showing up on a stage near you. tickets now we'll see you at the theater I left the link below where you can purchase tickets for now we're only touring Canada we don't have visas so we can't actually go to the United States so we have four dates pretty big deal for us uh, and if you want to come see us and you're in the area definitely check out the link below now that that's done let's get into some magic for my first trick I'm going to uh, freeze my hands using nothing but my breath now have a look in this bucket. There's, can you see anything in that bucket? Is there anything in there except water? No, nothing. <sighs> Ice cubes, zoom in on that. Ice cubes, I made the water cold. Those aren't really ice cubes, okay? The, the cat's out of the bag. This is actually a really cool principle. So you can't really see anything here. But when I reach in, you can see these little ice cubes and they're actually not ice, they're actually gelatin, but you can't really see that. It's very bizarre, they're not cold at all. But they disappear as soon as it hits the water by means of refraction. So basically what's going on here is that last night I purchased some meth. Just kidding. This is, uh, these are little tiny crystals, all right? And these tiny little crystals uh, are not drugs. They are, I'll give you the exact name, actually. Can't commit that to memory, hold on. Hydroxyethylmethacrylate Hydroxyethyl crystals. Hydroxyethylmethacrylate crystals. And what they are basically is these little crystals that expand into gelatin, but the index of refraction, which means the index at which they refract, is the exact same as water. So they grow, they expand in this uh, bin of water, and then, as you can see, uh, they're completely invisible. You can't see them because the refraction is the same. Uh, but now, as I take them out, you can kind of see them here. And watch them disappear. Watch. Ready? It's like you see a few bubbles like stirring around in there. Those are the actual crystals. Isn't that crazy? It is pretty crazy. Cool principle. So that uses the principle of refraction, something that uh, I know a lot of magic tricks use. Uh, but let's get that out of the way and let's look at the next one. This is the appearing cane. Or the appearing wand. Actually pretty dope. A piece of paper that is just kind of rolled up. There's a very large potential. And then uh, when you let it go, kind of flings into action. Rolling it up with wet hands is a little tricky, but same principle as any appearing cane, really. So that's pretty cool, you get that. It looks like a solid object, too. We got a few things here. This is one of my favorite things. Can I get this coat off? This one, this, this is one of my favorite illusions. This here, we have this, uh, this sort of straw, this, this little tiny pole. 
Uh, and it is actually pinned, let me go in here so you can see that properly. It is actually pinned in here, okay? And this is a solid pin. I'm going to take it and I'm gonna push, I'm gonna push this through this metal rod here. Get ready, one, two, three. And it goes all the way through. How crazy is that? Let's do it again. One, two, three. That's pretty nuts. I'm looking at Lee's face right now and he has no idea what's happening. Two, three. Ugh, it goes right through. Now you're probably thinking to yourself, well, you're like snapping it open and closed. And I assure you I'm not because that would, you know, that would, I would have to open it from here. And that's quite impossible. What's actually happening is one of the oldest principles in magic. The hand is quicker than the eye. What, what's actually happening is I'm putting so much pressure on this and it is flipping around but you can't see it. So if I did it slow, you would see it start to flip around, but fast, you don't see it happen at all. One, two, three. Ugh, it really looks like it's going through. Such a cool little principle. You get that as well. Hey Lee, we're gonna do, a, we're gonna do an eye test with you. We're gonna test your eyes. I know your eyes are terrible, but I think only one of your eyes is really terrible. Close one of your eyes, all right? And that, what does that say? Ice box, yep. And if I put that in front of it, it still says ice box. ice box. All right, now close your other eye. All right, this time, I think this is the eye that's faulty. Uh, what does that say? Apples, that's right. How about, net? is it upside down? Yeah, what does that say? It's upside down now. Yeah, you have an upside down eye, Lee. Yeah, you have an upside down eye. You should really get that uh, looked at. So Lee has an upside down eye is what we figured out here today. That's the official consensus. His eye is upside down. Uh, there's no magic to that, really. He just should go to the doctor. Uh, there's no magic trick at all. That was just something I really had to share with Lee to test his eyesight. Just kidding, don't go to the doctor. Um, this uses a really interesting principle of another form of refraction, okay? Uh, basically, this is going to make everything upside down. Everything goes upside down with this, okay? See the apples are upside down? Except the word icebox is the same. Every single letter is symmetrical. The I, the C, the E, the B, the O, the X. So this is actually being flipped upside down, letter for letter. However, it's the same upside down. So you probably should still go to the doctor, check your eyes out, but not for this reason. Okay, ooh, this is cool. All right, Lee. Um, we're gonna test your reflexes here. Okay. Okay. So hold this. Yeah. And I want you to drop this through with the same hand you're gonna catch it with. Okay. Okay. Oh, did you do it? Do it again. Oh. <laughs> it's still coming. Oh out. damn! I did it wrong. You're supposed to take this one. <laughs> this one drops right through. Uh, yeah. And I was gonna switch it out, but that didn't work. So. Here's another cool thing. Okay, you can take your seat. Thanks for ruining the trick. So basically one of these falls straight through, but this one, zoom in, this one's an actual magnet. The other one was just made of brass. And the weight of the magnet is stronger than the force that it is attracted to the sides of the tube with, if that makes sense. So basically the weight is slowly, you can see it here, boom slowly traveling through. Now, science or not, or magic or whatever it is, that is sorcery and that looks really pretty damn cool. Very satisfying to look at. So if you can switch them out successfully, uh, like I was going to before Lee ruined the trick, um, it, would, it would have been a pretty cool trick. All right, we'll get them back, folks. We'll bring my brother in for this one. This here, oh, let me get rid of my bag of crystal meth. This here is a reflex game. Come here, Manu. And we're gonna take a bean and we're gonna sit the bean atop that. Now, the goal here is to strike the, the sphere, the circle, so fast that the bean drops straight down into the bottle. Oh, I will just hold this just so it doesn't go flying, and that's the only reason this string is here, by the way. Uh, so go ahead. So you have to strike the black thing? Yeah. So that falls down. Exactly. Straight down. You see how it bounced up? Let me try. So how much do we want to bet here? What's the bet looking like? 
Lunch? All right, I'll bet lunch. Balancing a bean isn't as easy as it looks, ladies and gentlemen. Drum roll, please. Here we go. Damn it. I guess I'll eat lunch. All right, let's do it one more time. We we'll probably cut that whole part out and I can get a free lunch here. Hold on. That's the spot. Yeah! Yes! Let's go! So, the trick here is science. Next trick. Uh, basically, what's happening, if you strike the outside of it, you're actually creating a bend, a slight bend in this sort of circle, right? And that bend is going to propel the bean upwards because, whoop, uh, and then if you strike the inside, it's actually shoop, gonna sort of bend like that, which allows the bean to fall straight through. There you go. And that is how you lose lunch money. Okay, we got a shot glass here filled with water and I'm gonna show you a little science trick here. This is actually kind of cool. Uh, this is just basically a trick about uh, air pressure. Check that out. Now that looks like a dope uh, science trick. And that is a really dope magic trick. Follow me over here until I snap my fingers. Boom, crazy. Science or magic or both. Uh, how this works, it's uh, kind of like a water suspension trick. Basically, you get this little piece of plastic here. Yeah, it's a little transparent piece of plastic. Air pressure is 15 pounds per square inch, okay? That's the amount of air pressure that exists around us, 15 pounds per square inch. The weight of the water in this shooter is less than the pounds per square inch that is being pressed upon this piece of plastic. So the air pressure on the outside is actually greater than the water pressure on the inside, which allows this to sort of levitate. And then obviously just moving it with your finger would have a drop and the water would fall out. That is water suspension. Very cool. I could actually move on to a different water suspension here. All right, we got a little bit of water here, barely any, but here's what we're gonna try. Try to block that hole. Look at the straw. It's on the inside. Okay. That was an absolute disaster. Uh, here's the thing. Here's the, I'm going to show you the thing. Zoom in. Here's the thing. It is a small, uh, clear plastic disc with a hole in the middle. And that basically, it, it normally, I've seen better gimmicks to be honest, but normally this would suspend a bottle of water upside down. Here's the really cool part, is that this doesn't necessarily just work with the air pressure, this trick actually works with surface tension. So all, basically water has uh, a tension, which is why, you know, tiny insects can land on water because they're not heavy enough to break that surface tension. And so the air is not, with the hole given here, is not strong enough to, you know, break that surface tension. So this holds onto that using, um, using the air pressure and then the surface tension is kind of holding that hole closed but then you can take small items like a straw and poke it through which is really crazy whenever you're done with it you just squeeze the bottle or shake it or whatever and that'll fall uh, away so that is the other water suspension now i gotta clean it up all right ladies and gentlemen so those are some tricks that you'll find in this magic kit there's a whole bunch more but it, it is fun for children to learn about physics and chemistry and science and all this fun stuff and then incorporate it into magic. So I thought it'd be a, a nice little treat for you guys and uh, if something you wanna pick up. And if not, hey, at least you learned a thing or two about either science or magic, or you learned nothing at all and all you did was leave a like. Huh? Thanks for watching. Like, subscribe, comment. Be cool. I don't know. See ya. Bye.